My name is Mike Soucy. I'm an American Mountain Guide and member of the instructor team with the AMGA. Generally, it's safe and fun to travel in the backcountry, but we do need to be prepared for the inherent risks associated with backcountry skiing and climbing in the winter environment. Injury and illness are two examples of why it's important for us to be prepared to act independently in order to evacuate without the help of search and rescue or outside resources. Using the Brooks Range Ultralight Sled makes this process easy to set up when it comes to emergency situations. The Brooks Range Backcountry Rescue Sled Advantage has a patented lightweight design, works with skis from 135 to 205 centimeters, creates a sturdy platform for moving any size person. Assembling the sled and comfortably securing the patient should take approximately 30 minutes or less. I can unwrap the body of the sled and stow it inside are two aluminum spreader bars for attaching the sled to your skis and nylon ski straps for lashing the skis to the spreader bars. In addition to the sled, spreader bars, and ski straps, you're going to need your patient's skis and ski poles, a foam pad or your patient's extra clothing and empty backpack, and a length of cord for towing the sled. So the first part of creating a, uh, a rescue sled is going to be to make a platform out of your patient's skis and ski poles. We're going to use the ski straps first to make an X with the patient's ski poles. I'm going to lash the ski pole onto the heel piece of the binding using a figure eight pattern to make a nice tight fit. Once I have that platform constructed then I can move into step two which is going to be stretching the sled over the top of this platform and secured with the spreader bars over the tips and then gently tensioned using the tensioning straps on the tails of the sled. So the third phase of our sled setup is going to be packaging our patient onto the sled tarp. I have three different colored straps. Black, dark gray, and light gray. The black strap goes under Ed's arms and secures his upper body to the sled. The gray strap will zigzag back and forth to secure Ed's torso to the sled and corresponds to the gray loops sewn into the side. In a downhill lowering situation, consider the effect that gravity will have on the patient in the sled. One can easily get creative with methods for securing the patient's feet to the bottom of the sled with extra strap material. In my experience, the ultralight sled is the lightest weight and most durable even after several uses. It's also easy to set up and is super packable.